Just because you saw good in me doesn't mean they will when it's time. If they do, it's because like you, you know there is good in us all. We are capable. But just because it appears to be good doesn't mean it always is. No, I'm not accosting myself to be something that I've seen around me, but I've seen enough around me to know that it's possible and the desire to see someone like myself get confused with someone who's capable, not myself, of doing what someone with those tendencies would have, appearing to be something they're not. They're easy to spot because you can just tell. But lately, I've been feeling like that as well, and I don't understand why. However, I'm beginning to realize, to some degree, my connection to the link that is the energy world and its past life references to beings. And sometimes when I'm doing that, it's as if they imprint with me and their lives become somewhat layered with mine. Though they're not, they are there. And why do I reference them? Because my family obviously needs to learn to identify these problems outside of themselves without accusing the people who are identifying these issues, like myself, as that self, because we are separate from that at this time. I personally have never committed those atrocities of any kind and have served my community well outside of just trying to look good for others. Have I had a few fish tails in the past? Of course. We all eat fish at some point, but that's not what I mean. Small fibs end up becoming a big problem if you don't correct the issue, which is you don't have anyone to impress. If that's why you are lying, I won't say that's good, but it's more understandable than someone who just lies because they like to, because they enjoy it, because they are manipulated manipulative and they are manipulators of a heart one first theirs was manipulated beyond reason that's all i can suggest then they found a way to live with themselves because they gave themselves permission to do that i don't know how so an immoral moral ethics that doesn't seem to understand right or wrong becomes what we call a sociopath again i'm referencing a, ten, a Ted Bundy character, or a Wayne Gacy, but Wayne Gacy is a little more obvious. Ted Bundy is my favorite, not because I like him, but because on the surface he is that model person that everyone thought was normal. Walk around the suit and tie, everything, could talk to talk and walk walk, because that's the part of life that he memorized. It's okay. What he didn't have was control of his double life, which comes from his childhood or whatever traumas that occurred that allowed him to experiment with that, I guess. And like the story of Michael Myers, not an actual story, but based on the same uh, ability to recognize symptoms, patterns, identify them, and try to find an emotional root to them all. Well, the emotional root is trauma. And the one talking is a psychiatrist, which I had to understand my mind. So yes, I understand it lightly enough to communicate this very beautiful point. To be valid with myself so that I don't get confused with something like that when I'm talking about it in the future. Because I'm not. I don't romanticize these things. I don't want these things in my life. I never have. And they are there. Do I make peace with it? Not exactly, but am I harmed by it in my mind? Do I fear it every day? No. Am I aware of it? Yes. Am I more cautious lately? For my own reasons, I guess. Because I don't want to become something like that because I'm going through my own issue with trauma. 
from my point of view, the only way to sit with that and not get called a Todd Bundy or John Wayne or the next Mike Myers because the psychiatrist didn't want to be associated with what he describes. So he writes a fictional story or she or whatever the case may have been. But these stories have deep rooted connections to actual experiences that cause tears in consciousness if families blame themselves for it, number one, and then don't know how to deal with it, number two, and then continue to blame themselves for it, number three, ostracizing the the one thing they wanted to help, but then blaming themselves even further for doing that also, then eventually blaming themselves for being where they are, which is kind of what I'm going through, not like that, but on a lighter level, um, some, symbolically, the pattern is similar, even though I'm not subjected to the traumas at that level, which would be the difference in the spectrum and that and repetition. So if I have space between traumas, it's easier to get through them. When traumas are very close together in secession, it tends to build a very, very powerful negative engram, which is a memory engraved in the mind that has to be processed. And for some people, if it's past life traumas, that's difficult for one person to do. And that's what I mean when I say I'm linking to things in my past with you, my family is not perfect. That also doesn't mean that I don't want to discuss what's going on with us, because even if they are John Wayne Gacy's and Ted Bundy's or the worst of the worst, because I don't want to go any further than that, that doesn't mean I want to be identified with them just because they were blood. I'm not them and they are not me. I don't even have all the facts yet, but I know enough to know that my immediate family can just for a while and that's fine. We're all gonna, mm -hmm. and you know why? We're not being honest, first of all, and then not being honest again, and then lying about that, pretending it's been long enough that you could continue doing that because you feel comfortable with it. It's not good to get comfortable with a lie and do that for the third time, especially when I know certain things have happened. And regardless of who was right or wrong or who was innocent and who was not, the issue doesn't need to go to a cross and have a jury for one innocent being to be on the cross or for the person who is persecuting to go to its own grave because it didn't have this conversation at an intelligent level and thank our psychiatry for that, for being willing to sit with the individuals I just named Pontius Pilate, okay? And to actually have to be subjected to that, I guess he had Bundy's families and feel ashamed of it, then not know how to deal with it, then go through your own trip of what do I do and where is it lost? Well, yeah, it's in you, but don't take full responsibility for that. That one did its job. And there is innocence, but only so far. And that's what I found. So you can't take guilty with you, but sometimes guilty isn't as guilty as it looks. And there are people perfectly capable of understanding themselves and not doing those things. I believe Ted Bundy White might have been one of those. A real, true sociopath. Wayne Gacy, he tried and wanted to make people laugh, except everyone was deeply offended by him. And, and because he couldn't do what he did, autism, okay, it frustrates him. And then you make something like American Horror Story and pretend that he's going to walk out to a beautiful couple in the middle of nowhere having a picnic like they did old school before we had entertainment with us to, to drown our, our days with uh, empty... <clears throat> soap boxes um and come back full circle to see that's where i got it and that's what i mean referencing something that's been here the whole time not clean but the mindset that gives us these ideas and that was older than wayne gacy but these ideas are the same and instead of 
um, a clown hitting people with clubs, you know, the one that I was discussing that was capable of understanding chose not to understand it and just went completely devoid of emotion and operated a double life with the same problem. So it was a Wayne Gacy that learned how to become something it wasn't and still be the Wayne Gacy also. And that's a Ted Bundy, except they had different motives. One was sad, wanted to make people laugh and got upset for being bullied. The other one was a complete piece of crap and probably had a rich family that helped it signify its own right to be where it is. And the families just agreed that's probably what it was. And he had sexual issues and for some reason got rejected there and so took it out on those partners. You see the difference, but actually how there isn't one. And that's what I mean. So I want to discuss this from the psychological level again. I don't want to be associated with those beings because I'm describing it from their point of view, kind of like the ones who created the Michael Myers story. And I don't even know why there wasn't some sort of <laughs> whatever. I don't know what that means anymore because this is what I needed for that. And I'm doing it, me, me, this guy. But that's for myself and that's what I mean. And I use their notes plus those experiences to help me understand myself, which is what any of you have ever done if you've ever had these issues. If you're curious about something, that's because there's a reason. When you find out the reason might be because of you and something you're surrounded by, is it distasteful? Absolutely. Does it suck? Yeah, really does. But you got to hold on and like a good investigator, you might find out that's you by yourself that you're healing. And in this life, for me, fortunately, I didn't have to commit those atrocities to do that. However, those atrocities have still been committed and are still surrounding us at this time. Which means some part of me did that. Because if you accept the truth and all truth as a one self being with all selves, what happened? Then the one self is going to accept all selves as one self. And if that being does that, then you have a problem. Because there's no Ted Bundy and Wayne Gacy with me in my paradise. But I'm glad I understand it. Those are my boundaries. That's why it's not coming with me. And that's what I mean. It's not to be condescending or to denounce their place with me. I'm actually lifting them up. I'm saying thanks for, be for being that because I know somewhere in this they have been. And thanking my family also for doing better immediately because of those situations that gave birth to the ideas that give us inspiration for whatever it is that has us bounded to whatever subjects we find interesting for the moment. Eventually, you just find your last moment the most interesting because you've already made peace with that. And that's what we're doing now. But you can't do that and be attached to any of those mentalities that I told you about. And that's what I was going through. Was. Past tense means after this video, don't expect me to put out another one. And I'm making that very clear. I do not want to discuss it. I do not like watching horror stories. I do not like my kids playing uh, Dead by Daylight. I do not like all of the mentalities for all of those sick spirits to be reintroduced through the video game world to our community and for our parents to be blind to it because that's where it's coming from monitor those games play them yourself how about that if you've never done this before i mean i know us kids back in the day without warning labels got left at home with the the devices you know but that's how it happens so you really have to monitor what we watch and that's okay did i do that no but that's what i mean also about what i said earlier i'm not going to go into this loop of feeling guilty for things I no longer have control over. I'm just going to do what I've done right now and say that has to be enough. You will let me let that go and you will do better, Gage. You will do good, Arisa, because those things, uh, Devil's Rejects, House of a Thousand Corpses, it's all graven images. And the reason we don't want you doing that is because it's going to take you someplace you don't like when you're done with me. Unless you really like that. But then if you really like that, you're done with me. And that's what I mean. There's no Ted Bundy's or Wayne Geises in my paradise. So if you want to be with me, son, you've got to know that's there. Know you've touched it and get away from it now with your thoughts. Meaning separate your personal space from 
things that tear you down. Give yourself those I am encouragements. I am affirmations that are beautiful, uplifting, positive. Get away from the grave. Stop burying yourselves. The reason I don't like funerals is because I don't like memories of people in a box. And guess what? All my favorite characters so far have avoided that. Granny, Papa, and a few others. And the reason I do that is for my benefit, not yours. But you know what's interesting? Is I can still experience those boxes even without being at those funerals. And I have. Now I gotta know. I'm just curious. Was my great-grandmother cremated? Because I have a very, very good feeling she might have been. Here's the best part. I need to know. It's not a problem. But I've had vivid dreams of being where she was when that happened. On the outside of her coffin. Knowing she was on the inside while we both burned together. Now this was after I had saw them both together. In a very beautiful way in another dream. And everything was fine. And they had a blue leviathan. Mm -hmm. Blue leviathan on all water, uh, water serpent. Uh-huh. Uh, above the above the house, and I took that as a friendly omen. I didn't. I wasn't afraid of it. It seemed very nice. And then, I would have dreams between there, uh, like someone was, you know, that level of Mario that we all loved, where King Koopa's in, got the princess, but like you know, he's in or princess in the castle, and King Koopa's flying in the little thing back and forth up above, and does the little swoops, and there's the big bomb and everything. That's kind of what it's like. <clears throat> um, yeah, I had a dream just like that. I was just bombs being thrown all over the yard and I was just walking up to go see my grandparents like I always do. And I gotta know why. And I know why, um, because my family's being infiltrated by um, individuals who do not belong there and they know who they are. Um, they might be closer to that place than I think. And uh, some individuals of the family are just going to have to accept that that might be the truth. And we're all going to have to accept that together. And guess what? There won't be any of that in my paradise. Unless he or someone else comes out with the actual truth and apologizes. And I really don't think it was my mom. I don't believe my mom lied about that. And that's my truth. I may not have had all the details, but... Something in there was cooking. Also, like I said before, even if she lied, and that's not true, the other side has to be innocent now. And the best part is I don't know, and I don't know, and I don't know, because I didn't have the experiential process happening to me. And it wasn't revealed to me also. And even if it was, I wouldn't know that's true, because no one has confirmed it. Which is why I want you to get back to me about that cremation thing. I want to know if my great-grandmother was burned before she was buried. I'm very curious. How's that work? Anyway, uh, yeah, that's enough about that. No more graven images, and that's why. So, positive thoughts, positive I am affirmations. Let me do what I'm doing. That's why I don't want to have these videos anymore, because they have to declutter a space that's filled with skeletons. And you don't want those. And that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm working on for my whole family. And you, I dare say all of humanity. But not just that. There's more. That's why there are creatures involved in my visions. Lots of them. And I'm learning from that. It's not a war. But some people are acting like it. And that's why, like a psychologist, I want to be less emotional. I'm not a calculator. I can't be that rigid. But I am flexible because of the heart. To at least identify within myself and in give you that much you know mental well-being at least comfort in your mind and heart body and soul to know that i'm not doing any of the things that we would consider atrocious but i am with those beings that do these things not just my family but beings that are <clears throat> unspeakable the do not mentions and they certainly are touchable if you allow it I have. And what I'm saying is it's not a problem. It's okay. No one fear that. I still have to be the psychiatrist for them today. 
just like I'm doing for you now. And that's why I get it the way that I do. I didn't come here to be the rich and famous. I didn't come here to be the who's who. I'm not, and I don't even care that I have a name. I don't, but I have an ability to recognize pain and heal it when it's honest about why. But I can't get to that if we're not all honest about why. And if I have anyone in my family still doing that, and I know that I do, then they have to pay the price and I can't help them. And that's why I made this video. So again, positive affirmations will help others all day. But if you have issues that you made in this current life with me, you need to fix that now. Or you're going to have problems just like they had. And then it won't continue. You see what I'm saying? And then I have to be the psychiatrist again. And I won't do that. Here I am. I'm already here now. There's no taking advantage of it. It's just here while it is. Once it's gone, don't worry about it. Stop mourning things. You don't have to. That's that. what I was saying earlier. You don't have to feel bad about things that have already happened. That's a cycle. Don't repeat those cycles. I don't know it's been a minute since I said that, but I believe you could probably remember what I said. I do, so there's that. That's a good thing because um, I need to conclude with at least some sort of a semblance of a circle just to keep things on a track, okay? I am processing real emotions from fictional events at an intellectual level that makes sense. Thanks to the psychiatrist. I really appreciate you. Aunt Debbie, I love you so much. I know I said some rude things before. I was angry. Don't take that personal, and I know you don't. And please don't blame me for anything else. I don't have any control over anyone's lives. I wouldn't dare. If I've ever said that, it came from my family, and that's not fair to any of you. Because if they believed it, who knows? But I don't want to believe that for us. Because they don't want to be stuck with the bill. You can't give them back their life. That's real. And if you believed that, then you may be asked to. And if they can't pay you for your words, you know, they certainly won't pay you for your life. And if you can't give them your life, then what do you do there? If you've already taken theirs with it. So what I'm saying is, be careful what you believe when you really believe things. And I'm gonna help you soften the blow. You didn't know. Don't do it again, fam. If you're casting charms, stop it. If you're playing with the symbols, stop it. Just breathe and be where you are. That's all. It's that simple. I know it is. And it is.